from Louisiana's home team. This is Fox 8 Morning Edition at 6 a.m. Well, when most people think of immunization shots, chances are they believe it's only necessary for young kids, but that's not the case. And joining us now to tell us why is Dr. Scott Simeon with People's Health. Good morning. Good morning. How so, are you? Good. How are you doing? Bright and Great. early for you? It's, uh, it's pretty early, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you say a lot of times you think, you know, it's the kids. I got to take care of the kids. But you right. say adults, and especially older adults, too, are important. Why is that? Well, sure. Um, I mean, adults, there's a lot of, there's many deaths that, that could be simply, that could be pre prevented by, uh, you know, simply getting your immunizations. And especially in the older population, 65 and over population, uh, there's a lot of uh, immunizations, or not I say a lot, there's a, there's a few immunizations that you really ought to think about. Um, for one, uh, you know, you've got the flu shot. Everybody's pretty much everybody's heard of the flu shot, mm -hmm. and um, the flu shot's something that's be, that is given every year, and uh, to pretty much all age population. I mean, all the uh, age group, the entire population. Uh, but especially in the 65 and over, that uh, set of uh, folks is going to be more susceptible to uh, the serious effects of the flu. So it's important to think about getting your flu shot, and it's given once a year, and it's given once a year typically because uh, the flu virus changes every year, mutates every year. So what you're getting every year is a new uh, formulation of the vaccine uh, because you're trying to cover the type of strains that are, are, are out there in the population at that point in time every year. Well, what did doctors see that made them decide that it's important to get the word out? What did you see happening with adults and older adults? Well, it's not anything that I saw. It's just a recommendation from the CDC, and it's, it's what we see uh, in hospitals. And another, uh, you know, I, I could speak of another immunization is the, uh, the, the pneumonia vaccine. It's a little bit of a misnomer. It's not just for pneumonia, but it's really for the pneumococcus vaccine. Uh, the pneumococcus vaccine, or the pneumococcus bacteria, rather, uh, is a primary cause of pneumonia, especially in older adults. And, um, you know, there are uh, 40, 40 to 50,000 deaths per year in the United States uh, from pneumonia in the older population. So it's important to get that, uh, what's called the pneumonia vaccine. It's like I said, it's really the pneumococcal vaccine. Uh, but that's a, that's a one-time vaccine for uh, the age group 65 and over. But it can be given to younger than 65 uh, for those uh, patients who have diseases like asthma or other chronic medical problems. So once again, bottom line, how often, if you're an older adult, you should be getting it and the key shots that you should be getting? You... Well, the key shots are going to be, well, uh, the flu shot is once a year, as I said, because the virus mutates every year. So you have to actually get a, a, a booster, so to speak, but a, a new uh, shot every year. The pneumonia vaccine or the pneumococcal vaccine is given uh, one time only if you're 65 and over. If you're younger than 65, it's about every 10 years, but like I said, it's certain populations that get that. Mm -hmm. Tetanus shot, uh, most people get a tetanus shot. They think of when they step on a rusty nail, that type of thing, but. Uh, Especially here when you're outdoor and you're rebuilding sure, after a storm, sure. and, you know, and you have property. Yeah, well, a tetanus shot is about, is once every 10 years, but interesting, uh, the new formulations of the tetanus shot actually contain a small amount of protection against pertussis, which is the whooping cough bacteria. And the whooping cough has actually, we've seen a, a, a resurgence of whooping cough in the older population. You think of that typically as uh, childhood. And I know it's shingles too. Yeah, the shingles vaccine is, is, has been a big push for shingles vaccine lately. Shingles is a reactivation of chicken pox. Mm -hmm. The virus actually lives within you once you get chicken pox. It doesn't actually go away. Your immune, your immune system uh, doesn't get rid of it completely. It stays in your body. And then one day uh, when you're under stress or other circumstances, uh, the virus breaks out and causes a very painful rash mm -hmm. uh, that's shingles. And the shingles vaccine can protect you. It's a one-time shot that protects you against the shingles disease. Some good tips. And I've seen adults who've got shingles later on in life. Yeah. And it's not good. <laughs> no, it's pretty painful. Thank you so much, so, Todd. Very, Appreciate very, thank it. Thank you very much.